Hello, it's Paul Bergen from the Mars Hill blog, which you can find at www.paulbergin.blogspot.co.uk. I'm just doing my weekly uh, vlog of re album reviews. Uh, today it's uh, Paul McCartney's Chaos and Creation in the Backyard. Um, Perhaps well, not one of his most well-known albums, uh, solo uh, or otherwise, but I think I do believe, personally feel it's one of his best. It was recorded um, in the early 2000s, re was released in 2005. Uh, it was about three studio albums ago. And <sighs> why do I like it? It's not like he hasn't written anything different. It's not as if the sound is different. But it's all that works with McCartney um, coming together. And plus, I think Nigel Goodrich the, was the producer. And he um, produced Radiohead as well. And he, he's got a lot out of it. And I think some of his... Uh, best songs of the last 20 years. Some of McCartney's best songs are in uh, this album. And we've got Fine Line, which is, it is a sort of typical um, jaunty McCartney song, but it, it's a good one to start. And I, always, I tend to think that um, albums, uh, some really good ones, you, you need a, a rousing song to a either begin the album or to end it or as or both and fine line does well how, how kind of you um is a slow a slightly melancholy ballad but you know quite hopeful lyrics of you know someone being there when, when you need them jenny wren i think that was about a character from charles dickens novel our mutual friend and that was, uh, yeah, no, that that's um, quite a, a good narrative song about the character. An acoustic, uh, one which is mainly fueled by an acoustic guitar. And At the Mercy, again, it, it's a, a slow ballad about... Yes, when I'm talking about this, you, you kind of realise what, what works. There, there's certain chord progressions and there's certain um, use of instruments that I think help make this, really make this album work. And At The Mercy, um, certainly the, has that in it in terms of the use of the piano and the acoustic guitar. And, um, yes... Friends to go is a good one. English tea, that's very English. It, it should be pointed out that the orchestration here is done by Joby Tolbert, who, who's um, fine composer. He, he, one of the more interesting aspects, he did the this um, soundtrack to the BBC Black TV Black Comedy series, The League of Gentlemen, and um, English tea does kind of work as this kind of Edwardian esque. A uh, song of having English tea in a country garden, and uh, the, the Edwardian whimsy is something um, I think both John Lennon and Paul McCartney are very good at. Um, you don't see it too often, but but when you do, it's very much noticed. Uh, too much rain um, about losing. I I think it's about losing friends and family over the years and. That's something perhaps many of us identify with, and it it's about to sort of keep going in spite of all the rains going. I seem to recall um, McCartney saying that um, it, it's uh, reminiscent of Chaplin's smile, and, and you kind of can see the echoes of that. It, it's not a reproduction of smile that. Certainly not, but it, there is that kind of uh, echo to that.
a certain softness which is sort of like an, a ballad you would get in a, <laughs> in a, a jazz nightclub. And it's uh, um, about an attraction to someone. Riding to Vanity Fair, about someone uh, who's you know, just going that little bit self-indulgent, that uh, bit far. So yeah, uh, and it it does, these are good songs. A particular favourite of mine here, the, the penultimate track, this never happened before. It, it just works, the chords, the orchestration, and um, it, it's almost like coming across a, a love that you haven't before, and it doesn't necessarily have to be first love, it's just some of the experiences all brand new. So this is Chaos and Creation in the Backyard. It is a good album. It, it's... Um, it has something, it has that je ne sais quoi that, that um, perhaps you, you get glimpses of in other McCartney albums, but this one has it in spades. And I, I'm still in love with this, even since I bought about 13 years ago. So, you know, and he, it's, that's not denigrating the albums he's done since. Memory Almost, Furl, uh, Kisses on the Bottom, which was a album of covers and uh, new and the forthcoming Egypt station uh, which has you know is yet to come out so I've yet to fully hear it's not denigrating any of that but I, I think this if I had to pick a favorite um, McCartney album of, of this century uh, 21st century it would be this one hands down okay <laughs> 